Hello, I'm James Clifton from Val White Marine. Today I'm here on the Thames. I'd like to show you around this brand new Haynes 360 aft cabin cruiser. So Haynes 360 is a boat that can be configured in category B or category C, so offshore inland waterways. This boat is configured as a Cat C boat. Um, we've really spec'd it to use on the inland waterways, so we spec'd it with a single engine. This particular boat's got a Yanmar, and then complemented that by having bow and stern thrusters to make it easy to handle. The boat has a keel, so you're going to find it very predictable and easy to handle at low speeds on inland waterways and really relax for cruising. The helm itself looks quite simple in this format, but that is done so that if it is a category B version and you want to have um, chart plotter, VHF and your other equipment across here, there is the space to put that into the helm. Moving forward into the rest of the cockpit, um, you've got a dual helm navigator seat, there is storage underneath that and also it has a flip over at the rear so that once you're moored up it then becomes part of your social seating space. The table in the cockpit, um, you can have it in two ways, you've got it as it is now so if you're just uh, socialising and there's people moving around the boat you've got it folded over um, but once you actually all settle down and you want to have something to eat or drink that folds out and gives you a nice big dining space. In terms of overall seating up in the cockpit there are also these side cushions. It's a really nice place to be underway. If you were to sit down here you get a view forward while the boat's underway which I particularly like and you've got a big aft bench across here and then another one of those single seats on the port side in the corner. Underneath the rear bench seat here you've got two storage lockers and there's a further storage locker underneath the helm navigator seat. On the port side there is a small locker here which is your gas locker. But I want to talk about the advantages uh, of being in an aft cabin boat, the layout that it gives you and what that offers. You're up here um, very high, that's the first thing. So uh, you've got a fantastic view as you go along the water, whether you're offshore or whether you're on the inland waterways. So if you're on the broads or the Thames, you get this lovely elevated views. You often see over hedgerows and reeds and that sort of thing. So it's, it's a great place to be. The other advantage is it's lovely and quiet. The engine is right down below under the floor in the saloon. So you hear virtually no engine noise while you're underway. Um, and it's just a, a lovely place to be. There are uh, challenges, um, we recognise that, with your height once you're in an aft cabin boat of this way, but the boat is designed to take that on board. So your highest point is actually the top of your windscreen because the arch that I'm standing under here all drops down. It's an easy process, there are three quick release clips on the forward part of the windscreen, so you just literally unclip those and this grab hold of that handle, pull this, and then that goes back up onto the top of the arch there. So that's that bit dealt with. There are two more clips on the arch itself. So you release those. A couple of poles in the top of the canopy release those. And then while you pass under your bridge, it allows there's gas struts. So it just allows you to lower the arch with the gas struts taking the load, pass under the bridge, and then pop that back up and carry on down river. So here we are down in the saloon of the 360. Um, this particular boat is finished with oak. There are other wood choices available and you can then um, make your bespoke boat and have the finish how you want it. It's a really light airy space down here. So Haynes recognise that you want to use your boat all year round. We do have mixed weather in the UK. So you're going to see windows all the way around make this a really light space to be. So if you're spending a lot of time on the boat, maybe it's your holiday home, you're going to spend a whole weekend here. It's chucking it down with rain. You're not going to feel claustrophobic. You're going to have that view out, you know, the heating on and it's home from home. You can have the TV, you can cook your roast, do whatever you want to do. In terms of layout and features, you've got a saloon over on the starboard side, sorry, settee over on the starboard side. The centre section of that will pull forward and create an occasional berth. Um, over on the other side, you've got seating there and storage underneath. And coming forward into the galley, it's quite a nice space to be if you are doing a lot of entertaining. You've got this area up here, so whoever's down in the galley doing all the food prep, they can pass stuff up, you can have your drinks, your food up here, and then everybody else in the saloon gets to just help themselves. So we'll go forward, take a look around the galley. So once we're down in the galley, first thing to point out is that you've got this composite worktop. This particular boat is fitted with Avonite. There is a huge choice of these worktops and, and it's a bit like granite. It gives you very much a luxury feeling that you would have at home. This particular boat is uh, fitted with gas, so you've got a three ring gas hob and a gas oven underneath. There is the option um, to uh, go fully electric on these boats and have an induction hob. So that's something you can contact us about and we can discuss. 
good sized stainless steel fridge with ice compartments. So if you want to chill your drinks, there's somewhere that you can put your ice. And then this boat also has uh, an integrated microwave fitted. There's good storage above all the worktops and below. So again, Haynes try and make it a boat that you can go away for long periods of time and you've got plenty of space to put all your kit. So up in the forward cabin of this boat, there is an island berth. Um, cleverly underneath that, there are uh, there is a big storage locker. So again, back if you're on your long trips, uh, the mattress pops up, there's gas struts and you've got a big locker underneath there. There's wardrobes both sides and also storage beside the bed. Clever little design features with a little shelf each side. So if you are on board overnight, um, you can plug your devices in and charge up overnight. To the forward shower and toilet. So you can get to that from the galley up also from the forward cabin. Um, big feature of the 360 is that you have a separate shower. So you don't have a shower curtain, it's not a wet room. You've got a nice separate shower enclosure there and a contemporary style finish with the composite worktops matching in with how you have in the galley. Above that, there is also the storage cupboard. So all your toiletries can be tucked away and kept neat and tidy. So now I've brought you down to the aft cabin, which is arguably one of the real wow factors and the main feature of this boat. You get an island berth, um, so you can both walk all the way around the bed. Loads of storage um, all along behind me, and also you can't see it, but on the other side of the boat there is a, a hanging wardrobe there. The lovely advantage of having a boat with an aft cabin is it's a great use of space because obviously we've got this space used up top which is the uh, the cockpit that i showed you at the beginning of the video but also once you're down here asleep if you are somewhere where the water is a little bit rippling and choppy you don't get the noise that you would often have sleeping in the forward cabin on a boat where the where the water is lapping at the chines so you're down here it's a really quiet place to sleep and you've got loads of space so leading off the aft cabin, you have a separate set of facilities. So it's a separate shower and toilet. And like the forward area, there is a completely separate shower enclosure. So you don't have a uh, shower curtain. Uh, that's a nice thing to have. So I've taken a moment to take the saloon floor up just so that I can show you the engine on this particular boat. As I said at the start of the video, um, we have a single engine. It's a 110 Yanmar. We really spec'd it this way to make it an, a, a very economical river cruiser. For your daily checks, the access is very easy, the dipstick's accessible, and we have remotely located the weed filter on this boat so you don't even have to get the engine up as we have now. But I'm hoping that gives you uh, a little bit of a view um, and also to the quality of finish of the build. I hope you've enjoyed this walk around of this Haynes 360 aft cabin. I'm going to put the link to the boat in the description and also the link to the new to order Haynes 360. Just a round up really, these boats are great for people that want to go away for a long time. They're also great for people that want to go away with friends. Obviously you've got two island berths, you've got two sets of facilities, two shower enclosures uh, and your tank capacities and the amount of kit and water you can take on board. It really is designed for those longer stays away. The other great thing about one of these boats, if you don't want to be out and about all the time, is you can make it into your holiday home. So uh, moor it up somewhere in a lovely marina with a great view. You've literally got a two bedroom home away from home.